You're watching Global News Morning on Global Kingston. Wishing you a fantastic Wednesday morning at the Thousand Islands Playhouse. The new production, Glory, it launches today. It runs all the way until August 17th. Two of the uh, principal actors are here. We have Katie Ryerson, good morning to you, hey. and Morgan Yamada. The production is called Glory. I love talking about hockey, especially when it involves a stage production. Explain who Glory is based on. I could ask you first. Yeah, so Glory tells the uh, <coughs> <laughs> Glory tells the story of the Preston Rivulets, which was uh, an incredible team. Uh, they started in the 1930s, um, <coughs> and the story in the play focuses uh, on the two sets of sisters: the uh, Ranscom sisters, who Morgan and I play, and the Schmuck sisters, and they sort of were the core of the team and and recruited a bunch of other women and. Uh, really got people excited about the team and they went on to be one of the most winningest teams in Canadian sports history. And groundbreaking this team obviously because they were the first women's hockey team. Uh, yeah, so they were, they were actually, they were a part, we know that women have been playing hockey for a long time, even before the Rivulets, which is really beautiful <coughs> and really interesting. Uh, but they were one of the most like uh, famous, famous women's hockey teams of the early kind of batch of women's hockey players but there's like you can see pictures of women playing hockey in long skirts like mm -hmm. way before them which is beautiful um, but it's really cool that in the 1930s there was a huge league and it was a cross Canadian league mm -hmm. so there was women playing hockey for there like, were teams all over all over there was yeah. like the Edmonton wrestlers there was uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Cal there was a, like teams everywhere which yeah. is awesome so they were traveling across the country to play hockey and they inspired a lot of young women to pick up a hockey stick and strap on the skates too yeah. I think so, and I mean, I think they, they had a lot of challenges facing them, you know, there were lots of people who had all kinds of opinions on whether they should play, whether they shouldn't play, um, you know, their abilities, um, you know, it, it was, they, they faced a lot of adversity and, and, you know, in some ways not dissimilar to the kinds of things that people are still dealing with today. Well, I love the story in that it's a bit of an education lesson, also it's entertaining, yes. uh, but we'll show a little bit of a clip right now from Glory. <laughs> When I first heard of the production, I thought, okay, Thousand Islands Playhouse, beautiful facility, a play about hockey. How is this going to work? <laughs> but it does. It totally does. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's super, super fun and it's super like high energy and we try to get all the energy that a hockey game has, but in in a in a dance package. Yeah, our amazing playwright and choreographer Tracy Power came up with an incredible vocabulary of movement for the show. She's a really sporty person and um, and is an amazing dancer and mover and and she spent a lot of time curating things that were going to be evocative of certain hockey moves and um, and people respond really well to it. People come. They, what I hear a lot when, when we talk to audience members after the show is people go, oh, I didn't know how it was going to look on stage mm. or I didn't know how it was going to work, but it was amazing. Like the movement was so cool and. And, um, and each game we play, we play um, a number of hockey games in the show and they all are a little bit different. They have their own spirit, their own, um, their own kind of unique moves in each one and, and it's really fun to do. It's, it's really yeah. challenging, but it's really exciting. Well, you said challenging. Um, as actors, I imagine it's daunting enough just to get up there and remember lines in a live <laughs> theater setting. But you got to remember there's dancing involved here and you're, there's, you're playing hockey. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's a really fun, uh, I, I think it's a really fun acting exercise as well every day is like yeah. trying to track the other team and also it's the other moving. members yeah, on you're our team. It's all over the place. Yeah, yeah so it, it's a lot of fun and we kind of... And like we're athletes, we're, we, we yeah. have to remember that we're working just as hard as, as um, you know, as athletes do and so we have to take care of ourselves like an athlete would and yeah. we, have to, we have to eat well, we have to rest, we have to like really maintain ourselves because it's, yeah. How much of a hockey background did you have before you launched into this production? Did you ever pick up a stick well, before? This uh -oh. is the question that makes me self-conscious because <laughs> I, I wish, I, I did not grow up playing hockey, although I love watching hockey. I grew up dancing and moving and 
and, yeah. and involved in athletics in different ways, but yeah. So you had to learn how to shoot a puck, shoot a... I did, I had to learn that I shoot right. So okay. I learned those kinds of things. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, and it's, it's one of those things where I always grew up skating and I think uh, like all of us grew up skating because mm -hmm. we're like Canadiana and all that jazz. But yeah, for me it was like, I never skated in hockey skates before. I yeah. always skated in figure skates, so. It's different. Yeah, it's different, but it was really fun adventure and yeah. it's made me fall in love with hockey all over again. Doing wow. In a so, totally different way. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully the audience is going to fall in love with Glory. Once again, is at the Thousand Islands Playhouse, and it starts today. So good luck with the opening night. Are all, all the jitters out of the way? I guess there's always opening night jitters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, and it runs until August 17th. Um, and, yeah, it's called One Part Bob Yor, One Part Bob Fosse, the Global <laughs> Mail has described it as. I love that. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon. Hair and Makeup by Luce Hair Studio, with three locations, downtown, Kingston East, and Kingston West.